Hello guys, so this is Marco, the retro guy, and uh, so today I wanted to show you something that uh, it took me a while actually to figure it out and uh, to get it to work. So the thing is, I own a uh, Macintosh Plus uh, that I just refurbished uh, fairly recently, and uh, it's fully working, but I wanted to have like um, uh, some external drive so I can boot from uh, because the, the thing is the Mac Plus uh, it doesn't have any internal uh, hard drive so you have to use floppies and uh, well yeah it's fun to use floppies but at some point you really want to you know take advantage of a larger drive or something like that and the great thing is that Mac Plus uh, it does have a SCSI port on the back uh, it doesn't have an internal one there are even mods for you to add an internal SCSI drive to it. I, I will not attempt that because it really changes the nature of the machine and I don't want it. I wanted to keep it original. Uh, well, sort of. And uh, so I really just want to add an external SCSI drive to it and make sure it boots up and uh, so that I can actually benefit uh, from having a larger storage device outside of it. So having said that, uh, what I've done is I started using a zip drive. It worked well. It, it, it is a lot of trouble actually to get uh, the Mac Plus to recognize uh, a formatted zip disk. So you have to boot up with the floppy and then you have to use um, special software to actually format the zip disk so that the Mac Plus can recognize it and boot from it, but it works eventually. And there is a lot of tutorials on the net on how to do it, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, how to add an external uh, SCSI 2 SD card to the Mac Plus so that it can use SD cards and boot from them uh, on the Mac Plus. So, and on top of that, I wanted to show you how to mod your classic, uh, sorry, your Mac Plus, so that uh, you can have termination power uh, coming off of it on uh, the SCSI port. So the Mac Plus is uh, one of the only Macs that has SCSI but doesn't have termination power uh, on it, and uh, it's not really an issue. For example, if you're using a zip drive, that's fine, but if you want to use the SCSI 2 SD, the great thing about SCSI 2 SD is it allows you to actually draw the power from the SCSI port so you don't have to have an external uh, power source, which is very convenient, especially for portability reasons. So you can just move around the drive, uh, connect the drive to uh, different machines, and it just powers up. Uh, drawing uh, energy from the SCSI port so you don't have to you know uh, bring along like uh, uh, a power supply or anything like that so I'm going to show you uh, the Mac Plus working uh, out of it and uh, booting out of it and uh, then I'm uh, on my website uh, retro guy, uh, retro guy, retro guy blog. you have all the the pictures and uh, the mods that has been done on the Mac Plus uh, logic board to support this okay so uh, let me just uh, so I'm going to change now I'm going to uh, move to the camera to uh, actually show the Mac Plus and I'm going to show the Mac Plus putting up out of uh, the external SCSI to SD drive okay okay so that's my Mac Plus as you can see, it's in very good condition, like I refurbished pretty much everything here. Um, this was in very bad shape when it came to me. I bought it out uh, on, at eBay. I bought this one and also a Mac uh, Classic, both as non-working machines. And uh, they were very dirty, very yellowed, and uh, well, it was a disaster. This one didn't have the keyboard nor the mouse, so I have to actually buy them uh, separately and uh, also refurbish the whole keyboard that had uh, keys that were uh, not working and such, and the same goes for the mouse. Uh, it wasn't working properly, so uh, I had to resolder some stuff to actually get it to work. Just talking a little bit about the work that I have done on this guy here. So as you can see, there is a, a, a floppy disk here. So 
I don't need it because uh, this is the SCSI 2SD. So as you can see, it's mounted on a JAS drive enclosure. So this is a SCSI JAS drive enclosure. And uh, I, on my website, you can see how I actually made this as well. It's uh, with a lot of pictures and uh, you get to see exactly how this was done. As you can see, there is a SD card inside. I removed the uh, transparent uh, window here so I can actually have access to the internals of the drive you have to, without having to disassemble it every time I want to do it. Um, so uh, just to show you like this is connected only with the SCSI interface here there is no power connection whatsoever and uh, it is going to as soon as I turn on the Mac Plus it is going to draw the energy from it and it's going to work. Uh, just so you know, like I have also um, connected the LED from the JAS uh, enclosure to the board here. So it should be working just fine. And well, let's go for it. So this is a zip disk that is here just because I was using a zip drive before. It doesn't have to do with the solution itself. Okay, so powering it up. So just... Uh, it takes a while to boot up because this uh, Mac has been uh, enhanced, uh, so I upgraded it to 4 meek. So it takes a while for the post tasks actually to complete. Um, other than that, like it's working perfectly fine. So this is a beautiful machine. It's working just fine. Very proud of it. And I will keep this mainly forever. So it's booting up, as you can see. Uh, you can see that it's actually you know like using the SD and you can see how fast it actually boots as well so what I have here is an SD that has uh, four disks or a SCSI disk so you can actually configure that on the SD a SCSI to SD card so it has uh, it has four volumes or four different SCSI drives so each one having a different SCSI ID ranging from one and I think it's um, actually the first one is uh, one which is uh, the Mac Plus hard drive here. Then uh, the second one is uh, uh, three, four, and five. So those are basically the next three ones. Um, you have to form a 10 and it takes a while. So I only have two here uh, initialized, right? So the Mac Plus is the booting one. And then I have here one spare one that is, uh, as you can see, is just called SD4. It should actually be, I think, SD3, maybe, not sure. Uh, we can actually check that. So just to show you here, so if I open it up, like you can see the amount of disk space that it has available. So I just created very small disks uh, on it just because, you know, like Mac Plus is uh, a little bit uh, complaining about uh, disk size and this sort of stuff. I and mean, you don't really need a lot of disk space anyways on the Plus. So uh, I will eventually change that and create volumes with more space. So I can, for example, add like uh, larger games and stuff. This was mainly for testing purposes. But uh, as you can see, it's working fine. So this other volume here also like working fine. There is nothing on it. So just uh, to show you. So if I use the Apple SD uh, H. HDSC setup. So this is the original one, not the modded one. Uh, on SCSI to SD, I actually uh, created the, the volumes as actual Mac uh, or Apple disks. So it, it is recognizable through the, the software here. So this is uh, SCSI disk 1, as you can see. And uh, it says that the volume name is Mac Plus, which is what we are seeing on the screen. So the next one is volume 4. So it's not three, it's four. So it's four, five, and six. So this is SD4 here, right? And then five is uninitialized, as you can see here. So I have to initialize this guy so that it can be seen by the Mac Plus. It takes forever, you know, because, um, you know, the machine itself is not very powerful. So and the disk volumes are fairly large. So it takes a while for the initialization to actually complete, but it goes just fine and it actually recognizes this afterwards. The great thing about this solution is that I can take this here, I can plug it on any other Mac and it will be um, immediately recognized and I can just transfer files easily 
from one Mac to another. And uh, well, it's a great solution. I, I'm really happy with it. Much better than the zip disk. Um, so that, that was it. That's what I wanted to show you because I have seen on the net that a lot of people are having trouble uh, having this SCSI to ST actually to uh, be bootable on a Mac Plus. And this is just to show you that it is achievable. It actually works. And even the mod for providing termination power so that you don't need uh, an external power supply to the SCSI to ST card here. It, it's very doable and very easy actually to achieve and again it's fairly well documented on my website just go there and check it out uh, retroguy.blog um, well that's it hope you enjoyed it and if you did just hit the like button thank you for that see you later